Hi there, Dominic here with an introduction to the Bezier curve. If you watched the previous video on curve extrude, which you'll find on the duplicate tab, when you right click you can choose curve extrude, but also Bezier extrude. Actually they are very similar, with the only difference being this is a simple curve and this is a Bezier curve. So when I choose the Bezier curve, now when I draw out a curve, there's no geometry to start with in this scene, then I can draw out a Bezier curve and I have added control. So there's no geometry, so the extrude creates no geometry and I can choose a profile, for instance this one. Right now the size is far too big, I'm going to set it to 0 0.005, too small, 5 millimeters, make it 50 millimeters and now you see I have geometry I'm going to flip my polygons and the added advantage over curve is that now I have these busy handles which allows me to fine-tune the tension of the curve I'm going to adjust my steps for instance to 48 now I have more segments uh, I'm going to set by length, then they are more uniform and with the Bezier curve when I control click on the handle now these handles have a separate control, control click now when they are separate these handles, when I don't control click and I adjust them they realign so you see now they are realigned so make sure that you control click on the curve. So for the rest everything you saw in the video on the curve extrude applies here only in with Bezier extrude you have extra options because it's a Bezier curve so you can set the position over here for the Bezier handles and for the rest everything is pretty much the same. So if you want to use the Bezier curve, uh, make sure to watch the video on the curve extrude. Hope you find this useful. This was Dominic and bye for now.